Welcome to the game. I'm Dan Hume, your friendly commentator. You're watching Zero K. This is a 1v1 match on Badlands between God and Drone. Uh, if you watched the recent 1v1 tournament uh, that occurred, I think it was last weekend, then you'll know that God placed first and Drone placed second. So Drone's here for a, a bit of a, a revenge rematch, a bit of a grud grudge match. Uh, I'm also here to show you some local changes I've made to the wreck widget that shows you where all the reclaim is on the map. Um, hopefully to make it a bit clearer where all of the, the good valuable wrecks are. Uh, and to make the screen display a bit a bit simpler, a bit easier to follow. So we'll see the game started now. Our guard is in the northeast corner. Our drone is in the southwest corner. And we can see God's gone for a, a kind of traditional start. He's got two convicts out. Uh, he's got a bandit queued up. Now uh, two bandits queued up. Uh, it's, it's, Obviously, he's on shield bots. Whereas in the other corner of the map, Drone uh, keeps waiting his factory. He's gone for amphibi amphibious bots. Um, he's already got one constructor out. He's got a, an archer queued up. Archer, an interesting choice for raiding. We'll see how that turns out for him. But it, uh, it looks like he's not going to be uh, finishing that off for some time if he keeps pausing his factory. I think it's... Uh, that he's, he's got his commander on high priority, you can see in the corner there. So uh, when his commander is building, because he doesn't yet have enough uh, enough metal income to run his commander and his factory simultaneously, uh, when his commander is building, his, uh, his factory will pause so that his commander can build at full speed and, and finish faster. Uh, but we see that God's, uh, God's units are coming in over the last ridge here. One of them takes out this metal point but encounters Drone's commander. Manages to get away though with a little bit of health yet left. Um, we just heard the archer firing there so uh, that was one bandit came in. The archer's still going out. This one's going to attempt to stop the defender being completed. That's uh, very handy and taking out the radar as well that's really gonna make it a lot harder for God to, sorry, for Drone to defend. Um, so God's being quite effective with his early raiding. Drone's still sending his archer out. Um, and he has uh, another one here to, to help defend this construction that's going on. Uh, also building defenders uh, a bit further out to try and uh, defend against flanking attacks coming through here. You'll see that the all of the bots on the map uh, can actually climb over these ridges. If we switch to... Uh, the pathfinding view with F2, uh, you can see that there are there are some of the steeper parts of the cliffs are not accessible to the bots. Those purple parts there, whereas the red parts, the bots can pass those, uh, but at reduced speed. Uh, so if we turn that back off, go to normal view. See the uh, the archers have been firing a bit. Uh, one of the interesting things about the archer's weapon is that as it's a, a jet of water, it, it pushes the enemy units away from it as well as uh, dealing damage to them. So they can be very useful for certain kinds of attacks. Um, God's coming up though, not, not going out too far, staying behind the protection of uh, the constructors and a few bandits there. And reclaiming the rock. You might have noticed if you were looking carefully at this rock while it's being reclaimed, it's uh, gradually faded from purple to white. That's the uh, the modification I've been making, as I said at the start. You see the rocks are, are quite purple um, in their starting configuration, and the more metal you remove from them, the whiter they go. So the, the wrecks or reclaimable things uh, without much metal are whiter and then the more metal they have, the more purple they look to match the, the purple colour that you get from the reclaim order. Uh, there was a bit of a base raid there. Uh, an archer came in, managed to close up this solar collector, do a bit of damage, but ultimately didn't manage to destroy anything before being wiped out by bandits. Um, God's very good at using the, uh, the stream of units coming out of his factory to 
respond to threats made near his base. Uh, that's that's one of the, the things that makes him very strong, because it means he doesn't have to spend a lot of metal on building up defences around his base. He always has some units nearby to, to respond to threats, and of course he always has radar uh, to, to help him see what's going on there. That's uh, something that other players would be wise to emulate, but sometimes they emulate the not building static defences part, but don't emulate the uh, the idea of keeping some units close in order to defend yourself. So they just end up with undefended bases, which are, are you know not very good, very vulnerable. So you can see the the pushback effect of the the archer's weapon going on in the south there, a nice little battle. Uh, so so. Drone has a bit of local superiority here, uh, is pairing his defender here with a, a Lotus, which is a good match because defenders have high alpha, they, they, their missiles are very strong but they take a long time to reload. So the, uh, the laser turret is good for picking off small units while you're waiting for the defenders to reload. Drone being pushed back here by God's Commander and by this Lotus. Uh, trying to push out again, but the um, the Lotus the Gods built on the front is, is being very effective, or has been very effective. Unit under attack. So you can see there's a few wrecks on the field here, none of them have a lot of metal. Uh, less than 100 for all of these. 80 for the archers is probably the biggest one. Yeah. Um, if we uh, if we look at the economy bar here, we see that uh, drone is actually winning slightly on economy, even though God appears to have more map control. He's not actually taken any of these outlying mass points, whereas drone has gone up, taken this corner in the northwest. Uh, and he's being very effective. Yeah, with his uh, well, he was being very effective with his overdrive. He's not getting enough. Uh, he's not getting enough power to to drive that. Um, but drone's still uh, about ten metal ahead, which is uh, pretty impressive, really. If you can if you can beat God on economy, you're halfway to to beating him in the whole game. Commander's still very close and it's turning into a, a, a pork war with lines of defenders that are just, just touching ranges. So in this kind of battle, uh, it's, it's all about who can repair and build their defense turrets more quickly uh, in order to do more damage to the enemy. and keep keep their own turrets functioning at the cost of the enemy turrets. God uh, ignoring the, the reclaim for the most part in order to, to keep the, the flow of lotuses going. Oh, so a boy coming out here. Interesting choice. The uh, the boy's weapon is you know reasonably powerful on its own, but it also deals slow damage, as in it slows down the uh, the unit that gets hit by it. Um, that's that effect isn't really very useful for uh, for static defenses, but could be useful for pinning down God's commander if the uh, attack gets that far. However, all of God's constructors repairing each other there, that's, that's going to be very useful for him. Drone's commander is back to full health, uh, stopping to reclaim some wreckage. God has um, managed to, to close the gap on metal. He's ex Well, he has been accessing metal. He's got almost full metal banks there. Um, but there's only uh, four difference, and uh, God was doing a bit of reclaim earlier, and that closed the gap completely for a few seconds. Um, God going for a stinger here. The stinger's large range and, and damage uh, will definitely help him to win this, this battle of defences. Uh, 
Meanwhile, elsewhere on the map, uh, Jonah's build building a lot of defenders in the north here. That's a lot of metal sunk into these. Um, so that's a total 490 metal into these to uh, to reinforce this line. Uh, but it's worth it if he can get all of the metal from this rock. Uh, and especially if he can get the geothermal points as well, which must be uh, next on his list. So, uh, looks like God's Commander is down there. You see it's very purple, representing the, the huge amount of metal in that. That's 580 you can get. And this is giving Drone a chance to push forwards, but he's still got to get past this line of defenders. Uh, and he's got to worry about these bandits around here uh, before he can push out from this line. But uh, that's certainly been a big win for him. Huge cost for God. Uh, drone now on double God's economy. That's, that's 14 more metal. Um, they're, they're about even on energy. Yeah, God now coming in to uh, to take this southeast corner that he's been neglecting. Um, it's not entirely secure here because uh, his drone could easily come in around this side, out of range of of God's defenses and far enough away from the bandits here. Um, but I th I think God will probably get away with a bit of expansion here. He's got long enough that he can put some static defenses in if necessary. He's also bringing up some roaches to the front. Now that should give some uh, some excitement. Uh, as uh, roaches are the exploding unit for the shield bot factory. Uh, though on the other hand we see the drones bringing up a grizzly. Grizzlies are a bit heavier so it's a bit harder for them to uh, to climb those cliffs. See almost the whole range of the, the cliff will slow this grizzly down. Uh, and of course he can, he can get stuck on the purple bits very easily. Unit under attack. Oh! And, and while we were looking at the grizzly there, we missed a, a huge roach explosion that uh, appears to uh, to take it out Drone's commander. Drone just commenting in chat here that he's um, he's ordered a pizza and uh, maybe his concentration is not entirely on the game at this point. But yeah, his uh, his commander there is is just not even a wreck now. It's just debris. So, big loss for him there from uh, from letting God's roaches get too close. Grizzly coming forward, uh, a huge, very powerful unit, but uh, not got uh, not got much to fight against at the moment. Also, uh, drones building uh, quite a few anglers. Uh, we can see there's five already, uh, and there's more queued up, and his archers queued up. Uh, He's seen that God's been uh, doing a second factory there, got some brawlers going. So he really needs to defend that grizzly to, to not lose it to these brawlers. It's got enough health that it can it can survive for a while, but uh, oh yeah, now the AA is close enough. It's driven those brawlers away. Brawlers are relatively expensive O units. They're, they're pretty powerful, but they're expensive enough that you, you really want to be a bit careful of them. Uh, not take them to places where there is anti-air. Uh, however, they're going up to, to try and attack the northwest corner at this point, um, but they're going to get hurt a lot by these defenders. Uh, oh, I'm by a Razor's Kiss in the corner. That's that's good work there. Good work by Drone. Drone now complaining that his grizzly has got stuck, uh, though he, he appears to have freed it now. It's walking past everything. Walking straight past the gunship factory, though, that would be a good target for it. Um, and as the, the anglers are over this side defending the grizzly, uh, the brawlers have been able to attack the lighter units, which has been quite effective. Uh, another roach coming forward here to uh, to defend the gunship factory. Uh, it's set off by the, the archers, managed to take out one unit there it looked like. Uh, so the grizzly appears to have got stuck on the cliff again. Hmm, that's a shame because it has a completely open access to, to God's base now.
So none of these brawlers are looking particularly healthy. The um, convicts are gathering around to, to heal them back up again so they can go back into battle. Uh, Jones being quite annoyed by his grizzly getting stuck on the train, but it might be better for him. If he tries to take the grizzly around this way, then he will take out that gunship factory. Um, if we look at his view briefly, he knows the gunship factory is there. He should just go for it. And it looks like that's what he's now decided to do. Though he's, he's wasting the Grizzly's shots. Grizzly has quite a long reload. He's wasting its shots on, on bandits. When it should be taking out heavier targets. Oh, and he's wasted a shot there on a miss. Oh, and uh, I hadn't seen that Drone has now built a gunship factory as well. He has some tridents coming out to take on the brawlers. Um, if we look at his Q, he's got a rapier coming up. Oh, and he's built a gene as well from his uh, amphibious factory. Oh, and the grizzly now down. That's a big shame. Got completely surrounded here by... Uh, well, I don't see the bots that surrounded it. Must have been a few more bandits than that. Uh, so that very, very purple 800 metal wreckage there. Uh, no player really has safe access to it right now, though. It looks like drone uh, god might be able to get it. Drones, drones clams... Uh, yeah, it seemed to have disappeared. So, God has free access to this now, if only he can stop uh, drones units from coming in here and, and attacking his constructors. Though there is an archer coming to, to keep people off it. Ah, uh, yeah, using a caretaker. So the caretaker will now be able to reclaim that. It's a good use for a caretaker. So that's 220 metal there, and it's got access to that much basically metal so that's 1300 nearly 1400 metal there for the caretaker that's a, a good investment there the genes over here i don't see if uh there's a if he's actually placed a um a start point for the gene the gene being a teleporter it can teleport it has to place a beacon near where your units are and then the gene can go to places and it can teleport units from the beacon to its current location and only in that direction they can't go back so generally you want the beacon close to your factory and you want the gene close to the enemy's base it looks like he's there you go he's placed the beacon there so that's called a lighthouse and so units that are in this blue circle will be able to teleport to the gene's location. Unit under attack. Uh, and he's sending that into the enemy's base. And yeah, it looks like uh, God now has free access to all of this metal. So that's 2,000 metal for God. He can close the economic gap there and, and even overtake drone. Uh, that will help him to win the game. Uh, the gene really could do with a bit of defense. God's just scouted out, scouted it out. Sorry, with bandits. He knows it's coming. He knows roughly where it is. Though it's uh, managing to walk away a bit. Oh, and he's got rapiers coming in to, to deal with it. Oh, sorry. Those are those are drones rapiers. That's all right then. Uh, but it looks like uh, God's come out with the Black Dawn now. If we look at God's factory queues, he's got no more gunships queued up, and he's got felons and espices. Um, so he's he's going for the shield ball strategy. The uh, the felons, of course, if you're new to the game, you won't know that they're uh, a skirmisher unit. They use their shields as ammunition, so they they fire lightning that that comes from the power of their shields. So as they fire. Their shields run down. When their shields are empty, they can't fire anymore, and they don't have any shields anymore either. So the Aspises, the the mobile shield domes, uh, really want to stay close to the felons in order to recharge the felon shields continuously to allow the felon to keep firing. And a uh, shield ball, which is what you call it when you have lots of these shielded units all recharging each other and all powering a felon, is very tough to deal with. 
You need uh, some unit with EMP damage, like a, a tick or a stiletto, that can take out the take it out in the shields. Uh, looks like, sorry to interrupt myself there. It looks like Drone's having trouble using his gene. Now he's got it in position. It's taking damage. He's got a, a load of units, a uh, load of units ready to go through that way to defend it, but he, he can't work out how to make them go. That's a big shame. Oh no, and the, the gene's down, so that's uh, that's 320 metal there. It's just walked into to God's base. Uh, it's a big shame there. Uh, God's keeping his felon in reserve for now in until the uh, until the Aspis is a bit more charged up. The Aspis is on about half shields there. So when they meet each other, they'll be a very tricky force to deal with. However, it looks like there's a bit of a Pink Panther action going on. God's walking out of his base to the south here to meet up with his, his bandits and uh, his vandals. Whereas drone units are walking in through the north, uh, which is a completely undefended side. There's one Lotus here. And God having to pull back these units. Now he's seen these coming in, having to pull back some units here. Uh, bring his felon back into his own base to defend against the archers. Uh, though it looks like the uh, it looks like drone has seen what's going on, pulling back his archers to avoid them getting wiped out by this felon. And yeah, the first victim of the felon there, and the black dawn flying into uh, flying into God's base there. I don't know why he's he's hiding that. It's on full health. It wants to do that. That's what it's good at. Firing its missiles and just dropping little parcels of death on top of incoming units. Uh, though, ah, oh, it looks like Drone sent a, a Black Dawn in and, and has just lost it there. That's a bit of a shame. A shame we missed that as well. That could have been exciting to see. But uh, with all of those, all of those vandals in the area, seven vandals in that area, uh, the the Black Dawn wasn't going to last very long. God's still using his constructors over here. Got a, a big reclaim set up, so that's another thousand uh, metal they have access to. Uh, and he'll need to, to rebuild the south as well. Looks like he got uh, he got raided there while we weren't looking. So Drone, surprisingly, is still managing to keep uh, about twice the economy of God. Um, God's now spent all of his reclaim that was in, in this area. Um, also, Drone's upgraded his energy economy. He's got huge lines of solar here. So he's got about twice the energy income of God, slightly less than that. Uh, so now attacking God's base directly, taking on the factory there, taking on some solars. Um, but he's got no anti air with him, nothing to defend against this Black Dawn. Uh, so the attacks. Not going to last for much longer. It's been fairly effective, taking out a few metal extractors, uh, some solars. Not able to take out the shield bar factory though. Uh, while on the other hand, uh, it's God who's taking the offensive in the northwest. Uh, he's managed to take out the line of defenders here. He's got a felon assisted by an Aspis. Um, a load of bandits walking around taking on the easy things. Looks like the felon's not really doing much. You can see it's got full shields. It can't be firing very much. And so he's he's been able to take down drones, uh, drones metal from from this corner. And so now God's overtaken drone in economy. Uh, drone has another grizzly coming up, but it's it's wandering around the centre at the moment. Not really. Seems to be a bit aimless. And yeah, God's still moving his shield ball. He seems to be a bit more methodical with it this time. He's going around the whole north of the map there. Uh, drone's already dispatched uh, Clam to to come in and get back some of this uh, some of this reclaim, and then after that to take back the metal points, I assume, maybe to defend them a bit better this time. God's still uh, taking this uh, southern southeast corner with impunity, even though he's got. So uh, very little to, to stop drone walking in from this side. Drone's just not doing that. Drone's uh, attacking directly into God's base so far. And going on to the, uh, 
the, the gunship plant and, and the area around it. You'll notice there are no static defences in this area, only one defender. Um, however, there's loads of bandits right in front of it. It's very hard for a drone to assault that, especially with the Grizzly. The Grizzly is a heavy assault unit. It has that uh, beam attack that you can see there. It's quite slow to recharge. It's effective against shields because uh, it can do a lot of damage against the shield. Not effective against huge numbers of bandits. Just takes too long. So it's a good weapon against that felon, but as you can see, it just couldn't get close enough to the felon there. The bandits surrounded it and, and just managed to take it out there completely, assisted by some Black Dawns, uh, which have uh, since run away and, and uh, tried to take out more stuff to the north. Uh, a quick blast wing coming out there for, uh, for Drone. If we look at his queue, he's got a Black Dawn coming out, uh, and he's still... Oh, he's got lots more uh, anglers coming up. 20 anglers to one archer. I, I hope that's not the, the queue that he's, he's going for permanently. And the Felon coming forward here. This is the ideal formation, really, for the, the Felon and the Aspis. The Aspis should be right at the back so that the shields are barely touching. Uh, that way it's hard for other units to fire on the Aspis' big shield dome. Whereas if the Aspis is close to the Felon like it is now, they've got a bit bunched up on the on the cliff, um, then that shield dome is presented to the enemy, so all the incoming fire will hit that shield dome. Uh, Drone saying, now, Peter cost me the game. Uh, I think uh, if, you, if you lose concentration in a game like that, then you have only yourself to blame. Though, uh, he could reasonably be a bit unhappy about his grizzlies getting stuck on the cliffs. Though, uh, again, they were he didn't quite match those grizzlies to the targets effectively. But uh, apart from that, he's played a very good game. He's mostly been ahead of God, though. He's, he's about four metal behind at the moment. I say that, he's just, uh, he's just got some reclaim there. If you can manage to, to keep ahead of grow, sorry, keep ahead of God uh, on uh, on economy, then you're doing very well. He's also managed to, for the most part, he's managed to keep map control as well, which kind of goes hand in hand with economy, though. They they don't, the one doesn't follow from the other. Um, he's managed to keep God pinned down, uh, basically to to that section of the base. If we just He's managed to keep God into that slightly less than half of the map. He's managed to... He's, he's retaken this northwest corner again, which is very good. Oh, however... Right at the end there, uh, God managed to walk his shield ball into uh, into Jaren's base, and, and that was the end for Jaren. He's he's given in the, with uh, no counter to that felon. Uh, so, yeah... Drone also did a good job at anticipating God's uh, gunship switch and building anti-air, though um, maybe he could have managed his anti-air a bit better. God did have a bit of freedom to, to go and use those Black Dawns to, to attack things, uh, especially for attacking incoming units. Uh, and Drone's gunship switch was uh, was less effective than God's, really. He wasn't able to... Uh, his, his Black Dawns could not get anywhere near God's units. Sorry, could, yeah, could not get anywhere near God's units. Um, his Tridents were effective as anti-air. And so overall, Drone really, I feel, could have won that match. Uh, only he lost control of his attacks really, he wasn't able to defend his attacks against bandits and against gunships, uh, so he wasn't able to, to conclude the game. And of course if you if you keep letting God do comebacks, eventually one of those comebacks is going to come back all the way into your base and destroy you. Uh, so also props to God there for, for hanging on and for being able to turn that game around at the end. I'm sure that you'll agree this has been quite an exciting match. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this first look at the, the modified rec widget. We can see if we if we just move that dialogue out of the way. There's a, a lot of right oh, sorry, a lot of white wrecks which I uh, don't have much metal in left on the game at the end here. There's there's a few really big ones like the Grizzly. Um 
and and it's it's really easy to see where those big wrecks are now even from the the zoomed out view so uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you again online soon